Hello, I'm ADK and I'm happy that you're back here for part 2. But before we get into it, I would like to comment on this. The plugin being mentioned is the ADSR Sample Manager, which I haven't been using inside Anydo for a while because it has caused some of my projects to crash. Now the reason you're gonna see the same plugin throughout this challenge being used by me is because it's a really quick and easy way to find samples not just any sample, suitable samples for the particular project. With the time constraint, I needed it. Keep that in mind. I still use it outside the Doe as a standalone application to look for samples because the media browser inside Cakewalk, I'm not a fan of it. And finally, please do consider subscribing to my Lo-Fi channel. With that, let's continue from where we left off. So here's a sample that caught my attention when I was making evening tea. It only says that it's A. There is one way to find the scale. I'm gonna right click, show in folder, and I'm going to go key finder. I'm just gonna drag this thing in. Run analysis. It says E minor. Now I'm gonna go with a 90 BPM. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. <laughs> You find us that it's E minor, right? So we get to E minor and see. Hmm, maybe. Uh, it sounds about right. It sounds about right. I'm now going to work on this sample to make it my own. Let's see where we can go with this. It is kind of different but still recognizable but it's okay because kind of 90 won't catch this much of a difference. I change the guitar to go like this. And the piano is going like this with the guitar. Alright, I'm feeling a really, really hard hitting drum beat with this lo fi to the point that it almost bleeds into hip hop territory. I think I have noticed a pretty cool hip hop pack in Cymatics, which is kind of old school. Memories Vintage Samples Kick. Okay, I need to get us there also to get the right feeling. Let's make it a little bit late. I'm going to bounce this into piano roll. Add it a little bit. Add some human. Whoa, that's cool. Bouncy, bouncy. Turn a different snare here. I'm gonna go into symbols and work on some hi hats. Okay, this is a Maurice Vintage pack. There are some loops in there. I'm gonna add keys one classic because there's a hot piano in it. Just a little too much maybe. Okay, time to make this thing really lo-fi-ish. 
Melofy. That hi hat needs to be handled. I'm gonna add origin. Okay, let's light it on the kick. Now I'm going to pull this these keys down an octave because I made them go up in order to make my sense of understanding of the notes clearer. Now I'm gonna work on a bass line. Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. I felt like the drums were hitting a little too hard for my taste in lo-fi, so I changed the kick into this one, and then the snare into this one, and I also slapped a Cymatics Origin plugin on it, and then here is a hi-hat loop, another hi-hat loop, they work with each other to make something cohesive like this. And then we have a crash. Now this is how it sounds. Now there is so much bounce in this coming from the fact that we have not aligned these notes perfectly on grid lines. That's what makes these bouncy hip hop feeling. And then we have this piano. Yeah, I made it into an electric piano. And there is a tape cassette effect on it. And I changed the bass into a simpler structure. I've also added this thing. Now all that remains is arrangement. It's 3.10 p.m. now, so I will have to rush through it. So I'll see you in a moment. So I finished arranging the beat, but there are some things that I added to support that arrangement, like these hi-hats. And then this guitar thing. And then this piano, which is the lab's piano. Oh, and of course, there is some automation on vinyl. If I had time, I would have reworked this to make it softer or maybe completely scrapped this and made a different track that is more on the lo-fi softer side. Anyway, here is the beat. <laughs> It's 4.30 p.m. now and I haven't started on today's beat. There wasn't any electricity. The power came back and then I sat down and then it went again. And finally, it's consistent now. I hope it stays that way. Anyway, let's get to it. So I've looked up some samples. I chose this one because this seems it has some more stuff going on in that duration so that we will be able to make an A section and a B section from that single sample. Yesterday's beat turned out a little bit too hard. So today I want to start with the drums and I'm going to make sure they are quite light and soft. And a snare, snare or clap. 60. Mm. I think I want to use the memento. What's it? Wait, what? Sorry, I think it's moment. Yeah, momentum, momentum, momentum sampler. I'm going to pin this. Okay, now I can drag it directly here. Yeah, it does. It does work. There it is. Okay, I'm playing in my laptop keyboard. Let's make these slices a little bit uniform. So 
So I changed this mode to shot, which means one shot. I'm gonna go into piano roll and then manually place the notes because I don't have a MIDI keyboard that actually works. The power went again. If you guys didn't know, I am working on a laptop, but the screen has issues. There's a pinkish shade in there, which is quite hard to work with. Okay, the power is back up again. All right, now I'm gonna connect the screen to the monitor. Yeah, we are back. Three, two, one. So I didn't like how that sample was turning out, so I changed it into this sample. Of course, I loaded it into this momentum sampler and then made it into short one by four slice. By the way, if you are not able to get this window, just double click here. And then I laid down this idea. I kind of like it. There are actually two things happening. So I'm going to separate this now. What I'm going to do is click here and then click here, which duplicates this momentum sampler. So now I'm going to select these nodes and then click this MIDI clip and drag it down. So now these nodes selected are down here. I wanted to separate them because I wanted more control over the different elements. Okay, I can. Okay. okay, this time I'm going to use ample bass. I'll be back. So I decided to keep the bass simple and it goes like this. And then I also added the soft piano of laps. Oh, and I also added this ambience thing. And these are going to the ambient bus. Let's color it. And that ambient bus has his send signal to one of my reverb buses. I think I should be happy about this, but listening to it for a multiple number of times it's giving me a feeling that it should keep progressing into something else so yeah i'm gonna add labs to get some pad sounds yeah synth that's what i'm looking for a war that's a little bit ominous pad Look at this. Yeah, this is a simple one of my go to arrangements that I'm trying here. So, here we have the main thing going on, and then something comes up after that, and then it goes back to the first thing. It's usually how my arrangement goes, and I'm trying to break free of it, but I don't have to experiment new stuff now. This is one of my lazy productions, but this is also one I really like. Okay, I'll be back after exporting because screen recording is taking a little bit of computer processing, slowing me down. But I did not record any more video that day because I got quite busy uploading this beat to different platforms. So here I am walking you through some of the stuff that I added just before exporting. It's just some hi-hats. Uh, here's the hi-hat one. 
one like that and then another like this and some crash so this is our whole drums now That's it. Uh, by the way, I did try to include some sounds of cheerful children playing around and all that stuff, like laughing and all. But in the end, I decided not to use that because it was giving me a horror music vibe. So <laughs> yeah, I did not use that. And here is the preview of the beat. So for the next beat, I wanted to work on a hip hopish bouncy drum beat, but it's delicate. So we already have a very much hip hop kind of dusty lo-fi that we released as the fourth beat. So here it is. I'm going to delete everything else except the main kick and snare. So I've done it and this is what we have. It is very likely that we are going to change some of that just to lighten it and the first thing that i want to do for that is to reduce the tempo to let's say 70 let's go with 17. the first instrument that i want to add is laps of course most of the time it's laps because of the soft piano uh piano soft piano let me try out some chords okay to get the right feel i'm going to add a send signal to the reverb bus I want to try F Dorian. Yeah, there it is. In some tutorials, I have seen that it has some of my flavor already in it. Let's try. I'm just dragging those notes and it's automatically snapping to some interesting chords. Wait. Should I go to triplet? Oh, okay. I'm gonna add bass engine. So, death row. Yeah, that's the sound. Okay, let's change the snare now. I'm gonna use that muffled snare. Something doesn't feel natural about this chord progression. Okay, I like this one. Come back to that later. Uh, no, <laughs> change the cake. Bring the origin effect onto the hi hats. Okay, we need a strong melody now. Trial over. Too rumbly. Yeah. I want this melody to be on the same octave as the chords. So it will go like this. But before that, I'm going to select this and go to run cal. Look for strum. Strum. Strum it. How many ticks? Let's go with 100. By the way, ticks is the time division. Like it's the most basic unit of the time. Okay, is that too much? 
and now i'm going to select the whole thing again and run cal with very well uh low limit uh 70 let's go with 70 the higher limit 96 okay velocities are different now now i'm going to select the top notes and then move them down an octave and remove the notes that are kind of overlapping <clears throat> take a break i've arranged the beat now and here is one more crackle that i added and you can see the bass is only starting from here along with the drums now the one thing about the drums i want to mention is that i changed the kick pattern a little bit because previously the pattern was to fit with a higher bpm value which was 90. now that pattern did not fit with a slower tempo so i changed it to this and our drums goes like this now now i need to add some more elements so i'm gonna look for a plugin called lo-fi okay lo-fi light let's start okay then i'm going to take this chord progression copy it down let's remove the melody idea now we are going to quantize it let's make it whole strength i'm gonna make it 90. okay that looks fine pull this up Control 8 and it's loud too so let me reduce it okay i need to send this to rome okay let's try to make some movement by using the pancake plugin okay i need to make it faster okay cool I think I don't want that much of a sustain. I want it to decay out after a little bit of time. Mm, yeah, let's see. I need a call and response kind of thing because this piano is making me think like that. Call, this is the call. There should be some kind of response in this section. I want to use roads rods uh sustain all the way down dk ring something like that Dan -dum. okay cool that's cool that's cool okay i think i am done with this project the time is up so i'm gonna mix it then master then export then render to video and then upload For this part here is the next one and yeah do subscribe to this channel leave a like if you found this video likable and this is adk and i will see you in the next video peace